think of North Carolina, and some of the first images that come to mind are serene rivers and streams shrouded in history and natural beauty. The Mitchell River is one such body of water, a tributary of the Yadkin River in Surrey County. It's part of the watershed of the PD River, which flows to the Atlantic Ocean. But it's here, northeast of the community of Elkin, that the Mitchell River is starting to earn a reputation for yep. some of the best brown, awesome. brook, and rainbow trout fishing around. I have never been to Surrey County before. I go down to the Wilmington Wrightsville Beach area in the winter, so I go down 421, but have never deviated off 421 to come check out all these beautiful areas over here. So it's gorgeous, the fishing's great. I'm overwhelmed, this is a good spot. A little further back? Okay. Nice. Fishing guides like Ollie Smith are always on the lookout for hot spots for their students. Yep, that's him. You got him. a girl. On the recommendation of local angler Jim Petit, Surrey County's Mitchell River was a must-see. I fished a lot of different areas. I fished the whole northwestern region of North Carolina primarily pretty heavy and Surrey County equals any of them, any of them. The state stocking program is very adequate over here. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing more fish here today than I've been seeing in some of the other places like Stone Mountain and Helton Creek. And that's really surprised me today. With Surrey County's catch and release program, fish are released the second day of every month through November. Trout thrive in cooler weather, giving fishermen the chance of a lifetime to do what they love. They usually stop that program in the hot weather because this water, even this water, can warm up enough to where it puts a lot of stress on the fish and if people are in catching them then they tend to die. Aside from fishing, the area that surrounds the Mitchell River is absolutely breathtaking. I love the rolling pastures, the farmlands, there's, there's not a lot of development here. Well, Taga County is so built up, of course that's good for my business. But well, this is refreshing to kind of see what boom was probably like 40 years ago, 50 years ago. Local residents take pride in the fact their neighborhood is so pristine. Water quality is great. It's clean water. There's no debris. There's no trash laying around. I saw a Friends of the Mitchell River sign when we pulled in here to this beautiful location right here with this great mansion behind us. So apparently there's a lot of people have taken a special interest in this river to keeping it clean. One of those people helping keep the Mitchell River area as clean as possible is property owner Dr. Chef Olinger. Yes, it is. It's, uh, this is uh, an outstanding water resource uh, and is uh, designated uh, so. To further the appeal of the area, the Olingers have restored a historic home for rent to people wanting to stay just a little bit longer. This house uh, is called the Mitchell River House. It's over 100 years old. It accommodates um, about 12 people pretty comfortably. And uh, so we have family groups at times that do little reunions or various groups and retreats. It's pretty well uh, accessible, but in another sense, remote. This place behind me is beautiful. Not only the infrastructure, but you got this great trout stream right in front. You could throw your waders up on the deck, walk across the field, be on some great water within just a moment's walk from the front door. As an angler or fishing guide, you can't ask for anything better than that to be so close to the water and pretty surroundings without a lot of traffic. And uh, if that's not your cup of tea, there's a, a brand new uh, hotel just about six minutes away right off the interstate. It's the perfect situation for novice fishermen like Dee Dee Brooks to learn a new hobby. I'm gonna put it right on the edge of that fast water and that slow water. I showed her how to do a roll cast and right away she started sticking fish. So that says a lot about the water quality to be able to come down here with a beginner and start catching fish right off the bat. Good fish. It's a little one, but it's a, it's a fish. Take it from me, I had never been fishing before and I caught fish today for my first time. So that was a pretty neat aspect. Pretty neat. That's a good description for this section of Surrey County where the water runs, the fish bite, and life is pretty good. I hate to use an old cliche, but the Mitchell River in Surrey County, it doesn't get any better than this. Staying in this wonderful location and being able to come out into the peace and quiet's been really good, really fun. It's a very high quality water and it's very makes it pleasant to fish here and probably pleasant to live here.